Hello traders, welcome back to the Wheels FX channel. We're back here today with another video and today I'm going to go through a recent trade I've taken um, which I did actually call in my previous video. So if I actually hop over to um, the last video now and you can see here, but obviously be careful for manipulation. So right now you'd be up 4%, um, but for targets, you know, you could target this imbalance fill here or even the one down here. But I'd personally be targeting uh, a lot further down, like this level here. So you see that level which I actually said we're looking to target? If we actually hop over to the MT4 or the trading view even, you can see I said this, come down to this level um, and that's where I was targeting. I said around 17.75. Um, so, you know, we have absolutely obliterated this level. But you see, if you actually followed the analysis in the video that I uploaded yesterday, you would have made over 230 pips. However, now you'd be up over 330 pips. Um, this was a trade I actually called in my VIP group on Telegram, my gold group. Um, there is a link in the description for that. Um, also, I did send the, the same analysis to my premium group and that I was in this trade too. If I actually go through the, why I took the trade and pretty much <clears throat> why I chose to target this level. So you can obviously see the four hour time frame. We've got this 1800 level. So the video I literally uploaded yesterday based on the 1800 level. So you have taps in here, tap in here, tap in here. You see price comes up to this level to stop out all the retail traders here. And then we have a drop. So when price came up and tapped into it, this is one of the confluence which, confluences which we had to actually sell from here. There obviously are other confluences, um, which I'm obviously not gonna show on, on YouTube, they'll be in my mentorship. Um, but yeah, we just have this lovely, lovely trade here. We were actually looking to sell from this area originally, but we knew that we had to tap into the 1800 level first before we actually uh, make a move to the downside. And we waited for 1800 tap, one, two, three taps, price came up. And then we entered, boom, lovely, lovely times, profit for days. So I'm going to show you what of my accounts profits from this trade. So I will quickly grab up my MT4 on my phone so you can see this on this account. Because I am flipping this account, I do like to take my profits a bit earlier than I do on my, my main account um, because this is literally just a flip account. So you see from that trade, we made around 2,200 pounds. And as you can see, live account, there you go, live account. So, you know, with this trade, the reason I was targeting the 1775 area, I'll go through that now. So I might've mentioned it in the previous video, but we have this level around here. You see when these levels so-called resistance levels get tested again. That's when you can usually see like some sort of resistance in this area to maybe to make a push higher. So that's one of the reasons I was targeting this um, area here. But we also, when you have these big imbalance candles, price obviously has to come down and fill. And as you see now, price is obviously in this order block area here. Uh, if we get the rectangle, you know, we're in this order block area on the four hour now. Um, which we could see some sort of rejections from. Um, but the main target was 1775. And you can obviously see why you've got these previous areas. Price came in and just annihilated straight through it. However, on the 30 minute, you can see that we've just corrected this whole bullish push up, which we did have um, on the 13th. So two days ago, we had this massive push up. Literally the whole day, we were just bullish. Um, going into the 1800 level and then patiently waited in New York session, executed the short position and then we held it out, held it out and then closed in London session this morning. Um, if you want to learn how to hold your trades longer, then enter your trades. You have your stop loss set, you have your take profit set, you know how much you're going to lose, you know how much you're going to make, then close your MT4, go and do something else. Go, I don't know, go to the gym, go play football, 
go watch a film. I don't know what anyone likes to do, but just do something that takes your mind off the trading. Um, because if you're just constantly watching, like, oh my God, it's dropped a hundred pound profit, it's dropped two hundred pound profit. What am I going to do? Like you see these pullbacks with a, a decent lot size. You know, you could be um, profit fluctuating quite a bit. So if you're actually watching the whole time, price go up, down, up, down, up, down, and your profit fluctuating like hundreds of pounds maybe, then obviously it can affect your psychology. So be a bit careful with that um, and just make sure you are doing something else when you're in these trades. Um, did actually catch GU as well. We entered GU shorts from this area down, caught around 30 pips. And as you see, <clears throat> the reason GU was held up here, what do we have? Imbalance here, which was filled pretty much to the pip and then we reversed so you know and if we go on the four hour you can see tapped into the order block imbalance field reversal or continuation even um, we were just trading this level here as uh, so you had this clear level across traded from this sold at the top down uh, it's around like 39 pips or something like that um, decent decent trade um, but yeah mainly focusing on gold now Obviously, we are reacting from this level here. So, this is a potential area where you could see long positions. So, you know, you could see a trade now go higher up above the 1800 level. Or we could see, uh, you know, a continuation to take out all of this price action here. So, we've got all of this price action. We're just building up for this big move. And then that big move up has now been corrected. As you see on the 4-hour this candle was around 300 pips and these two candles this morning on the four hour were around you know 270 pips so we pretty much corrected that whole uh, bullish move which we did have at the start of the week. It's an interesting situation on gold because obviously now you've filled all this imbalance here but you've also created all of this imbalance here which has to be filled of course. So you know there's a lot of different scenarios where which could uh, affect the price of gold. Um, especially inflation. I think there's a lot of um, news this week as well, which did affect gold. You know, we had FOMC, we had NFP last week even, and CPI this week as well. So we'd have a bit of um, uncertainty for the dollar this week. But yeah, hopefully going into next week, because it's a Friday now, we'll have a bit more movements happening rather than just uh, consolidation, like all of this here. Um, although you can make profit in this consolidation, you, you want when you're making profits and making good trades, you want these sweeping moves, this big sweep down or this big move down. Because um, when you're just trading sideways markets like this, your stop loss and take profits, I personally have found you don't get the best risk to reward unless you're trading like these big moves. That's when, you know, this one made 8% in the VIP group. So, you know, 8%, that's almost past your FTMO on one trade. And at the start of the week, we had a, uh, a short which made 2.5%. So, you know, over 10% this week. So, FTMO passed, do you know what I'm saying? Hope this video was insightful, and if you did enjoy, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.